Okay, on this problem, it gives you some uh, data to add to an employee data sheet. So you click on the employee data sheet, open it up, and then copy this uh, data. And I'll go ahead and do that. So you just drag over it. Uh, you can do Control C, or you might be able to right mouse click to copy it, or Control C. And then go to the Excel sheet that you had opened on uh, employee data. Go down to the end of it. Click in the first uh, open cell down here, which would be actually A476. Okay, so clear down here. A476. And then you can either do Control V. That's Control in the letter V. Or right mouse click and just do paste. So I think paste special is not a good choice here with this. Uh, I do just paste. And uh, let's see, if you hold it there, it will show you what it looks like. So there's just paste. This paste seemed to also work. Uh, so I guess either one is fine, uh, but you might have to just paste things rather than paste special them, but you can uh, do that for yourself. Now what this does is it gives everybody a unique uh, information so that uh, everybody has different values in on this. Okay, once you get your data in there, then it wants you to do certain things on the problem. Like for example, mine says get the average uh, salary for, uh, let's do just males. So to do this, you can use equals average ifs, ifs, open parentheses, make sure it's the average ifs, I F S and then it tells you here what we're looking for so we want the average range what are we getting the average of well they they want the average salary so I'll just click on column F then comma now the criteria range is what group of people are we looking for here well this one said uh, let's say it said males so that's a gender so I click on col column B which has the gender in it and then I do comma and what am I looking for? What criteria am I looking for in there? Well, it's uh, male, let's say. So I have to do quote and then put in what letter I'm looking for in gender, which for my problem is males. Close quote, close the uh, parentheses and hit enter. And that's the average for just males. I'll do A-V-E-M for average male. And then they keep on uh, being more specific. Like maybe they might say get the average for males with more than 10 years of, um, of education. So let's go ahead and do that. Equals average ifs, open parentheses. And again, we want the average salary. So I'll click right here, comma, the uh, criteria range, well, we're going to have a multiple. Let's say, first of all, they say males. So I'll click on column B where the gender is, comma, then uh, quote M for male. Now, this has more stuff in it. The next thing, do a comma, and we have a second range. And so this was um, education level. So education level is in column D. See, this is the cr criteria range. What range is the criteria in? Well, education level is in column D. So I'll click that, comma, and then what is the uh, criteria we're looking for? Well, here we have to do quote again, just like we did around the males. And let's say it said more than 10 years. Well, if it says more than 10 years, I got to do a greater than and the number 10, and then close off the quote. Now, if it said greater than or equal to 10, or if it says 10 or more, I can put greater than and then an equal to sign. So this right here would say greater than or equal to 10. So um, you have to read your problem and see what you're looking for on that. So let's say ours just says greater than 10. So I would just type that much in. Close off the parentheses and you have it. So this is the average for males and with the education uh, greater than 10. Okay. And one more. Uh, let's say we're looking for uh, uh, males with more than 10 years of experience and 
they also have a uh, let's say at least 90 months on the job so I'll do equals average ifs open parentheses here's what I'm getting the average of salary comma now the uh, criteria range for the first one is gender so I'll click on that quote male just the M that's how it's labeled there comma the next criteria was uh, let's do instead of um, years of uh, years of education let's do minority level so let's do J comma and what are we looking for here well here we're looking for uh, let's say a minority level of zero because there's only ones and zeros there and then comma the next thing I said was uh, the amount of time that they were on the job so that's in column H comma and what we wanted here was I think at least 90 at least 90 means 90 or more or greater than or equal to 90 so I'll do quote greater than or equal to 90 close the quote so that should be everything there close the parentheses hit enter and there you have it so uh, this one is the average of males uh, this one had I think a minority uh, level of zero and it also had job experience uh, greater than greater than or equal to 90 so that's a lot of information there uh, so I think the first four problems are similar to this situation and then the last one is uh, a difficult problem that you're going to have to use a pivot table now you can get these using a pivot table too but uh, I'm going to save all this pivot table stuff and I'll also do these problems here using a pivot table on the uh, next video that's attached to this problem.